What is brewing in Sam Altman's mind? Is he planning something big in the AI sector? These are the questions that have popped on everyone's mind since Altman announced a large-scale investment on an AI project a few months back. What is this massive AI project that Sam Altman is working on? And how does it seem like a very realistic plan? More processing power is needed for ChatGPT's AI models than most people understand, according to Will Lee Shi, a Harvard Business School professor and former IBM employee. Altman might spend trillions on data centers, which house the GPUs required to train the AI models that power businesses like GPT and Sora. If his goal is to create larger models for OpenAI, According to research firm IDC, the US market for data center development was estimated to be worth $24.63 billion in 2024. He could thus purchase 40 times as many data centers as there are now if he spent $1 trillion on chips. According to Xi, data centers currently consume more than 1% of the nation's electrical supply. To support his new data centers, Altman would therefore need to construct a large number of electrical producing facilities, which generate electricity from a variety of energy sources. Next, he would have to modernize the electric grid itself, which is responsible for distributing energy to the data centers. A trillion dollars would probably be a decent investment when you take into account the amount of money being spent through the Federal Inflation Reduction Act and the Infrastructure and Investment Act to encourage the production of clean energy and grid modernization in the United States. According to Xi, maybe Altman wants to increase the amount of chips produced worldwide. Only a small number of cutting-edge fabs or manufacturing facilities that create chip parts are now under construction worldwide. These include, among others, Intel's locations in Arizona, Ohio, and Israel, TSMC's locations in Taiwan, Arizona, and Japan, and Samsung's locations in Korea and Texas. Meanwhile, Burstein semiconductor expert Stacy Rascon calculates that $7 trillion could purchase over 200 state-of-the-art semiconductor fabs for $30 billion each. You would have to start constructing steel mills and concrete facilities with 200 or even 100 fabs, according to Xi. In addition, Altman would require a large purchase of construction equipment. According to Xi, it might take decades to find a supplier who can build the cutting-edge UV machines required for Altman's project's scope. Then, there is the cost of hiring and training the labor force to staff the factory. The development of new factories in Arizona has been hampered by complaints from chip makers such as TSMC that workers lack the necessary skills for their CHIPS Act protocol. Had money been an object of desire, China's $150 billion Made in China 2025 investment in homegrown chips would have gone considerably further. Artificial intelligence has advanced to the point that programs based on AI can now gather data and learn to adapt their reaction to new information on their own. Thanks to dramatic advancements in the field since the earliest studies on mimicking the network of neurons in the brain. One of the main causes of generative AI's increased effectiveness and industry popularity, as well as its high demand, is its capability. One of the biggest problems is that generative AI requires a lot of data to train and operate, and it is also quite costly and computationally demanding. Thus, the need for high-performance graphics processing units is being driven by the demand for generative AI. To meet this demand, Nvidia and Intel are two of the top chip makers in the AI accelerator market. The requirement for generative AI is expected to increase over the next 10 years at a compound annual growth rate of 45%, according to Bloomberg Analysis, hitting $1.3 trillion by 2032. 
The rising usage of generative AI in a variety of applications, including drug discovery, financial trading, generating writing, music, and realistic images and videos, is what's driving this expansion. There's an increasing demand for generative AI, which is straining GPU supply. Consequently, GPUs have become extremely valuable in Silicon Valley, with some models reaching $10,000 per unit. Because of this, the market for generative AI is tremendously profitable, and NVIDIA, Intel, and other chip makers are competing to create accelerators that are faster and more potent by aggressively investing in their R&D departments. Since the majority of generative AI research labs and businesses utilize NVIDIA's GPUs, the company is currently the industry leader in AI accelerators. Recently, H100 GPU was introduced to the market by NVIDIA, and it is scoring big in the market. Has it met your expectations? The Grace Hopper Super Chip, another GPU that NVIDIA is working on, is a single chip that combines a CPU and a GPU. It now has even greater power than the H100. NVIDIA's CUDA toolset, in addition to its hardware, is a significant factor in optimizing the performance of its GPUs. CUDA is a parallel computing platform designed exclusively for use with NVIDIA GPUs, allowing developers to create high-performance AI applications accelerated by GPUs. As more organizations and researchers use CUDA, NVIDIA appears to be engaging in a vendor lock-in tactic. This clarifies why NVIDIA dominates the accelerator industry by forcing its users to rely solely on NVIDIA GPUs. Recently, Chinese IT businesses have placed orders of $5 billion with NVIDIA for their A800 GPUs, which are a scaled-down version of their A100 GPUs. The Chinese tech giants such as Baidu, ByteDance, Tencent, and Alibaba are eager to accelerate their AI goals and may buy additional GPUs in the future. The business has a solid reputation for innovation and it is always creating new and more potent GPUs for use in generative artificial intelligence. Additionally, it boasts a sizable and vibrant developer community that uses its GPUs to create generative AI applications. The second biggest chip maker in the world, Intel, is keen to unseat Nvidia's monopoly in the market for AI accelerators. For a few years, Nvidia has dominated this sector, but Intel is currently putting a lot of effort into catching up. Intel has been making significant investments in AI R&D, and it is currently developing many new generative AI accelerators. Since the past few days, there has been a lot of traction in the stock market, with a lot of people making millions out of their investments in Nvidia. Does that mean the future of generative AI is bright? In the coming years, there will probably be more competition between Intel and Nvidia as the need for generative AI solutions increases. The MI200 is also known as the HBM2E, according to TrendForce Research. In 2024, it is anticipated that the HBM3 and HBM3E would go widespread because of their improved speed and capacity possibilities. In an attempt to break into the industry, other well-known chip manufacturers Manufacturers like AMD hope to take 20 to 30% of the market. Cloud computing giants like Google and Amazon are making significant investments in creating their own AI chips for their data centers. AWS services powered by Amazon's chips are already available, and they are far less expensive than those driven by Nvidia's hardware. The generative AI chip competition winner will ultimately have a significant influence on AI in the future. The AI sector will eventually gain from their protracted and difficult struggle between the chip manufacturers. AI will become more affordable and innovative as a result, increasing accessibility for both consumers and enterprises. Do you think Sam Altman can revolutionize the semiconductor industry just the way he revolutionized the AI industry? Do share your thoughts on this in the comments section below. For more interesting stories and updates, subscribe to our channel. Do not forget to press the bell icon for notifications. Until next time.